Sometimes you'd like to be reminded of something when you get to a particular place. For example, you're going to a store and you'd like to be reminded when you get to the store to buy a certain product. But if you're using Things 3, you may be disappointed to find that Things 3 does not support location-based reminders or notifications. Fortunately, we can get around this using the help of an app that you've already got installed. So let's get to it. Now, if you're new here, welcome to Productivity with Peter. My name is Peter Uckies and I'm here to help you be more organized and more productive using project-based task managers, such as Things 3. Now, if you're new here, be sure to check out my other videos as well. I've got plenty of videos that will help you be more organized and be more productive. And also check out my online video courses. I've got one on OmniFocus and one on Things 3 if you really want to dive deep right away. But either way, welcome. First things first, it is possible to add a reminder to a to-do in Things 3. So if I create a new to-do in Things 3, and I give it a title, I can then go and set a reminder by clicking the When button over here and then clicking Add Reminder. So let's talk about what I'd like to remind myself of first. Today I'm going to the local bouldering gym. Bouldering is a form of rock climbing and lately I've had some sore fingers. If you uh, have gone climbing before, if you know about climbing, you'll know that you really got to be careful with your fingers because you put a lot of pressure on them when you go rock climbing. So I would like to remind myself when I get to my local boulder gym to climb using a different technique today, a technique that's not as harsh on my fingers to protect my fingers a little bit. This technique is called open-handed climbing. So I would like to say climb open-handed and I would like to be reminded of this when I get to the climbing gym. Now what I could do in Things 3 is again click the when button click the one button and click add a reminder and let's say I could set the reminder for 3 p.m. like this it's done except what if I show up at the climbing gym at 245 and I put away my phone and I climb for a while the reminder will come at 3 but by the time I see the reminder I'll be done climbing and I won't have been reminded of this so sometimes you want to be reminded of something at a certain place and you don't yet know what time you're going to be at that place so how are we going to solve this problem? We're actually going to not use Things 3 at all. Normally I would say use Things 3 for everything. Make it your central source of truth, your one repository of things you need to do, things you want to be reminded of. But because Things 3 does not support location-based reminders, we're going to make an exception today. The exception is that we are going to use the Apple Reminders app. Now, the Apple Reminders app has been overhauled in iOS 13 and in the latest version of macOS, and it now looks like this. If you haven't looked at it in a while, you may be pleasantly surprised. It's still nowhere near uh, the task manager that Things 3 is. It doesn't support projects, you know? But I recommend that you use it only for these location-based reminders. Now, before we do this, just want to make sure of two things. First of all, I'm showing you this on the Mac but you'll probably not have your Mac with you when you need to be reminded of something. Maybe you will, but more likely you'll have your phone with you. So I'm showing this on the Mac, but make sure that in iCloud settings, you've turned on the synchronization so that this reminder that we're going to add with the location-based notification is also going to be set showing on your phone. Second of all, you gotta make sure that Reminders has access has your permission to your location information. Otherwise, it won't know when to remind you, when to send you that notification. And again, you'll want to set that up both on the Mac and on the iPhone. So I'm going to show you how to set that up on the Mac. I'll go to System Preferences, and I'll go to Security and Privacy over here. And then under Location Services, I'm going to scroll down and just make sure that there is a check mark here in front of Reminders, meaning Reminders can access my location. Now you may have to click the lock, enter your password, and then you'll be able to check that box. Just make sure that that's checked. Now let's head back to the Reminders app. I'm going to hit Command N to create a new reminder. I'm going to say Climb Open Handed, and then I'm going to add a location. My climbing gym is called The Lab, which in Dutch is Headlop, so that's this one over here. So I'll just click that. Now it says when I'm arriving there, it will remind me of this. That's it. If I now click the little information icon over here, it'll show me the location of the climbing gym and that if I get near it, it'll send me this reminder. So again, make sure that this syncs with your phone or just enter it on your phone to begin with and that Reminders has access to your location information. 
And that's all there is to it. We're not actually using Things 3, so I suggest that you use Things 3 for all the other things you've got going on. But make an exception if you want to have these location-based reminders. Just put those things into Apple Reminders. Okay, that was it. If you'd like to learn more about Things 3, check out my free Things 3 Quick Start Setup. It is my suggested way that you set up Things 3, and especially if you're the kind of person who's been tinkering a little too much with their setup, you may really love it. Or if you want to go deeper, check out my online video course on Things 3. It's called Organize Your Life with Things 3. Three. And in that course, I walk you through setting up a simple system that you can trust to get organized and get stuff done. And the link to both of those resources will be in the description below the video. As always, if you like this video, I would love it if you could give it a like. And of course, if you want to get notified when new videos come out, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel and set the notification status on that bell to be notified for all videos that I put out. Finally, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and what other questions you have about Things 3 and what other videos you'd like me to see record. Thank you and have a fantastic day.